597 Business Ideas You Can Start From Home, Doing What You Love You're listening on Self-Help Audiobooks channel Enjoy the audio Chapter 1, Business Startup Tips Thanks for investing in this little book, I hope it will help you achieve more freedom in your life Be it time or money or travel, or whatever else feels limited at the moment If you are looking to turn your passions and talents into a business this book will show you various strategies to achieve that. If you hate your job, but don't know how to replace the income, you will find plenty of ideas, from many different genres and skill sets. Or, if you would love to travel indefinitely, but need a location-independent business that you can run from anywhere in the world, you will find many options here. I collected this massive list of business ideas in response to frequent questions from my readers, of both my books and my website sassyzengirl.com. I even a permanent traveler for the last three years while running several online businesses, include Kindle Publishing, SEO Consulting and a travel blog with a 50k following. People often ask me how I do it and how I transition from a music career as a conductor pianist and organist to internet entrepreneur and best-selling author. I also noticed that many would love that kind of freedom, not necessarily to travel as much as I do, but to be free to decide about their lives in any way they wish. Most don't know how to go about it or think it impossible, or that it would take years to achieve. That why I decided to broaden my reach beyond just digital nomads to help people achieve freedom and independence on their terms and with their special talents. My site Sassy Zen Girl now includes a large listing of business blueprints from many different genres, combined with great training resources to be successful in each. That list will continue to expand. In addition, my beginner internet marketing series will help you to attract clients and customers and take the mystery and frustration out of marketing. Without understanding online marketing, you cannot be successful in any business no matter how talented you are. But if you do put on the time to learn, the sky is the limit. I hope that this little book of 597 business ideas will help you get away from frustrating jobs and limiting hours, and allow you to fully express the wonderful talents and skills that you were meant to share with the world. Life shouldn't be a dreary rat race, rushing from one unpleasant duty to the next. We should be able to live life on our terms and enjoy it and share that enjoyment with our family and loved ones. So let me give you a brief introduction on how to best to use this book and then let's go to the actual list. Are you ready? The basics start here. Before we get to the actual list of 597 business ideas, let go over how to proceed once you find a business that appeals to you. Obviously, the short book cannot cover how to get started with 597 different business types. In a few cases, Links to helpful resources or an excellent course have been included. For all other cases a simple Google search of how to become a with your business choice will provide you with an abundance of articles, books and YouTube videos that will take you through the next steps. Once you make your choice, spend a few days reading everything you possibly can about your chosen business option, so you have a thorough understanding of what is required and what it takes to succeed. Next. You need to write down a basic business plan. Rather than running blindly and hoping for the best, set some clear goals and timelines and adjust along the way as needed. Start by writing out what your goals are. What level of income are you looking for? Part-time, full-time? How much time can you invest each week? What skills do you need to learn? How will you learn them? And how long will it take you? Is a financial investment required? If so, how much and how will you generate that startup fund? Lay out a timeline. Don't worry if you are unsure. Just try your best and put something on paper. You can always adjust along the way. Your progress will be very different when you know exactly where you are going and how you plan to get there, rather than just starting somewhere and hoping it will somehow happen. It won't. Keep reviewing that plan each week and make adjustments. Set reasonable expectations in the beginning and work out a clear action plan on how you can meet those expectations. For example, if you are aiming for an extra $1,000 per month, Figure out how many hours of freelance work you will have to perform per month, or how many products you would have to sell each month to reach that number. Then, break it down per day and you will have a much clearer path to reaching your goal. Let's say you want to start a freelance business as a virtual assistant. You do your research and learn everything you possibly can about what it takes to become successful in that field. If you did your homework, 
you will know what a reasonable starter rate will be. Let's choose $25 per hour for this example. If you want to make an extra $1,000 per month, you would need to get at least 40 hours worth of paid VA time to reach that number and that is not including taxes. 40 hours per month would be 10 hours per week equal 2 hours per day. Suddenly, it DOES and seems so impossible anymore, right? From your research and training, you would also have a good idea of how you can acquire enough clients and gigs to get those 40 hours per month and from there, you can structure a suitable marketing campaign for your freelance business. See how this is very different from just putting up a listing on Upwork and hope that somehow you will make a few extra bucks? A successful business starts with 1. Thorough research to find a profitable sub-niche and understanding who your audience is. 2. Next, a detailed action plan. And finally, 3. Taking action. Learn from the best. If you want to greatly speed up the process, Learn from an entrepreneur in your field who has been very successful. That the shortcut. Rather than reinventing the wheel, trying things that won't work and spending months and years finding a way that does works, simply follow the lead of someone who has already figured it all out. In other words, invest in good training. In a number of cases, I linking to excellent courses and training resources, all run by successful entrepreneurs, not theorists. Most of these courses are very inexpensive but will make your progress so much easier. Plus, you can ask questions and usually join a community Facebook group, etc. of fellow newbie entrepreneurs for mutual support and networking. So whenever there is a link on a business idea, check it out for further training. Branding. The planning and research phase also includes finding a profitable sub-niche and narrowing down your specific audience. You will have much greater success in a very specialized sub-niche that you master, where you eventually become the go-to person for that niche, rather than being a jack of all trades. People love to hire specialists, and buy specialty products. So spend time on researching that part thoroughly. It will be one of the most important decisions in your business and will have great influence on your success. Research online and find out what areas are already oversaturated versus areas that pose a great need. Pick those sub-niches and specialize there. Just make sure there is enough interest equal potential customers and clients. The same goes for products. Rather than having a cat store on Spotify, Offer something very specific within the cat niche. Maybe just cat necklaces and ornaments. Or cat merchandise for a specific breed. For dogs, pugs are big, successful sub-niche. Just as an example, this research might take a few days, or even a week, but it will make a tremendous difference in your long-term success. So really spend time on this and remain flexible along the way. You may have to adjust or fine-tune that part of the fun of being an entrepreneur. Your ideal customer. Once you find your sub-niche, define your ideal customer client. Really write out a bio of the most typical prototype in your audience. From your prior research, you should have a pretty good idea who your audience is. But now clearly define and write it down. Demographics, age group, gender financial and professional background etc. Once you have defined your specific avatar, tailor your marketing to that person. Really speak to them. Again I am using the word specific as that is one of the most important ingredients for entrepreneurial success. Define your UVP equal unique value proposition. This is another important piece in your business plan. What is it that makes your service or product unique? Why should people come to you? instead of the millions of others with similar propositions. Define this from the standpoint of the buyer client. What in it for them? The more specific and convincing you can answer the question, the more successful you will be. Your buyer's clients are not interested in a list of features, for example, in your product service, but only in what it does for them. How it improves their lives and solves their problems and frustrations. How will their lives be different if they buy your products or use your service? Focus on them and what benefits you can provide to them, and then over deliver. Run a referral business. For freelancing, you could also outsource most of the work and run a referral service, instead of being the hamster in the wheel. You land the gigs, then pass them on to other freelancers at a slightly lesser rate and everybody wins. You still supervise and approve the final results, and you are the main contact for the client, but you don't actually do the work. Instead, you focus on marketing and landing ever more gigs, 
constantly increasing your earnings while working less. Just a thought. Separate yourself from the crowd. Here are five strategies that can jumpstart your business and greatly increase your reach and audience. Pick at least one of them and build a following. It will make a huge difference in your business. I mention these strategies again in the skills chapters because they can all become a viable, standalone business on their own that you can build around your skills and expertise. Most successful entrepreneurs combine several of these platforms, but start with one to help your business grow a lot more quickly. Number 1. Write a best-selling Kindle book on your topic. A great way to build authority in your niche and create a passive income stream on the site is Kindle Publishing. As a 9-time number 1 best-selling author, I speak from experience when I say that Kindle publishing is one of the fastest, most effective marketing strategies I have ever seen. Being a published author, and possibly a best-selling author, will give you instant credibility and prestige and separate you from the crowd. If you use Amazon Kindle publishing option, you can also generate a constant stream of potential clients and customers, pretty much on autopilot. Amazon basically pays you in royalties to build a customer list. You do not need a traditional publisher, have a large following or be an experienced author. In fact, you can have your first number one bestseller in just 30 days from today. If you apply yourself, want to learn more? Then register for this free bonus training limited time offer. Free 1 hour training video. 7 steps to your first number 1 bestseller. Access here, influencerfasttrack.com. Number 2, build a successful YouTube channel. YouTube is a search engine, in fact, the second most popular search engine after Google. And YouTube videos show up in Google searches when people try to find products or professional services. If you know how to rank and build a solid following on YouTube, you can enjoy the following three massive benefits. 1. Have potential customers and clients find you through Google searches. No need to pay for ads. Just learn how to rank and get new leads on autopilot. 2. Establish yourself as an expert in your field. 3. Create additional passive income through the many monetizing options YouTube presents. To get a first insight, check out this little book with a massive chapter on YouTube marketing. For in-depth training and potentially turning YouTube into a full-time career, this is a brand new course by one of the top YouTube influencers with a six-figure following, How to Turn YouTube into Your Career Number 3, Create Online Courses. Another great strategy to build authority attract potential clients and customers, and build a nice passive income stream for years to come. That is, if you master the marketing. Number 4. Become an influential blogger. Whatever business you run, you should have a website and that includes a blog. Also for Google ranking purposes, part 1 and 2 of my internet marketing book series teach you how to set up a blog or website. GAT it free here. How to grow an audience for your new blog. And speaking of ranking, you should have at least a basic understanding of SEO the techniques that help sites rank on page 1 inch Google. This book will give you an easy to understand introduction with the first important steps you can take right now. FYI, if you haven't already be sure to get access to the free video course while it lasts usually $97, design a marketable website or blog in just a few hours. Even if you weren't born with a tech gene. Number 5. Become a podcaster, similar to YouTubing and also with a great set of monetizing options. This free course by two of the top podcasters on the internet with a monthly six-figure income will get you started. Build a six-figure podcast. Build your tribe. Joining a community of fellow entrepreneurs in your field will greatly help you grow, find advice, and get through the difficult and frustrating times we all occasionally face along the way. Most of all, you get to network and partner which can make a huge difference in your business growth. Don't try to go it alone. You will be much more successful when you build a tribe of like-minded people, entrepreneurs like you, who get you in what you are doing, and strive with you to reach your goals. Here are a few I can recommend. Mamapreneurs for moms who run their own business. Digital nomads. For permanent travelers who generate their income with an online business they can run from anywhere in the world. Freelancing platforms. Here is a list of freelancing platforms to get you started. Upwork. The biggest freelancing site on the net. Formerly two separate sites. Alance and Odesk. 
The site lists about 80,000 jobs in a huge range of professions from entry level to expert. You should definitely have your profile there and start bidding on jobs. Here are several more. Freelancer. Guru. I freelance. Project for hire. Five year. For more specialized fields, check out these sites. Creative jobs. Graphic designers. Photographers. Writers. Freelance writing gigs. Demand media. Barents. Text broker. Dash 99 designs. iStock photo. Shutterstock. Web projects. Web designers. SEO consultants. Web developers. People per hour. Top they'll claim to represent the top 3% talent worldwide. Get a cotter. SEO. Legite. Tutoring. Insta edu. Tutor agent. Ademi. Skillshare. Teaching languages online. Italki. All languages. Skype English classes. English and Spanish, Tutor ABC, VIP Kid, ESL Jobs Worldwide, Verbling, All Languages, Cuckoo Speak, Mingle, Business English, E-Commerce Platforms, and here is an extensive list of e-commerce platforms for all kinds of different genres and purposes. Among the many e-commerce platforms currently available, Incorporated Magazine lists the following as the top 5 for 2017. Check this article for a detailed comparison. Shopify, Big Commerce, Magento, Yocart, Big Cartel. This is a great course to get you started with a winning store on Shopify. Further sites include Pinterest in conjunction with Shopify, eBay, Amazon, Merchandise Creation T-shirts, Mugs, etc. Merch by Amazon, Cafe Press, Teespring, Society6, Create My Tea, Arts and Crafts Marketplaces, Etsy, Not on the Higg Street, Artfire, Da Wanda, Yokabu, Photography Marketplaces, a Stock Photo, Shutterstock, Getty Images, Stockspert, Photolia, Vintage and Secondhand Marketplaces, Da Wanda, Bonanza, Zibit, Etsy, Preloved, Group Buying Marketplaces, Groupon, Buy With Me, Social Buy Luxury, Restaurant, E-Swarm Outdoor Sporting Equipment, Social Shopping Marketplaces, Strenvy, Polliver, Shopcade, Licenses, Trademarks and Business Setup. If you run a physical business, be sure to check required licenses and permits. A simple Google search should tell you what you need or ask your local small business administration. When choosing business and product names, be sure not to violate any copyright and trademark laws. You can check online or have LegalZoom run a professional search for you if you are unsure. They can also help you set up a corporate business structure, like an LLC to protect yourself and your assets from law suits and financial claims. Once you start generating a steady income from your business marketing, no matter what business you choose to run, whether freelancing or selling a product, whether online or offline, you will need to actively and effectively market your business. Otherwise, you might as well not start at all. This is where most startups fail and marketing is also an area that most people are extremely uncomfortable with or even scared of. No need for that. It's easier than you think. You just have to learn how and then apply consistently. Knowing these techniques will put you way ahead of the game and allow you to make your goals a reality. We already mentioned the importance of having a website and the marketing strategy called SEO equals search engine optimization. We also mentioned YouTube and Kindle publishing as quick and highly effective ways to attract customers and clients. Social media marketing beyond YouTube is another very important area, Pinterest in particular is well suited to market products. Customers can buy directly from Pinterest, and Shopify offers integration with Pinterest. If you have products in beauty, fashion, arts and crafts, photography etc. Definitely check out this amazing platform. This is a good course on how to build a profitable Pinterest page. If you choose one of the e-commerce platforms like Amazon, Shopify, Etsy or eBay, there will be an additional set of marketing skills to learn specific to these platforms. Don't worry, it's not complicated, but most people never bother to learn and then get frustrated when they have no sales. Knowledge is power. This internal truth very much applies to entrepreneurship and starting a business. It's about working smart versus working endless hours fighting windmills and getting nowhere. This book will give you a huge amount of ideas and basic resources on where to go from here. From there, it up to you to get proper training and take it to the next level. Are you ready? Then let's begin. Influencer Fast Track from zero to influencer in the next six months. Do you have something awesome to share with the world, but don't know how to reach your audience? This book will show you exactly how to do it from A to Z in seven simple steps. 
even as a total beginner with no following. 80 plus enthusiastic reviews in the first week alone. Download your copy here. Download your copy here. Chapter 2 skills the following chapters will mostly list the 597 business ideas without further comments except in a few cases some business ideas fit into several skill categories and will be mentioned in each as most readers one read the entire list but rather focus on their areas of interest the same goes for the aforementioned platforms kindle publishing youtube course creation e-commerce podcasting while it might seem repetitive at times these platforms combined with a specific skill or expertise each form a separate business option and most people never consider them, or think they are much too complicated to start. Not something they could ever do. They earn, however, you just need someone to show you how. I already mentioned the courses I recommend, and the links will be included again throughout the book. So, without further ado, let's begin. Administrative. Number 1, Virtual Assistant. Number 2, Data Entry. Number 3, online research number four transcription video audio number five transcription legal number six transcription medical number seven editing number eight proof reading number nine cv resume consultant number ten mailbox management number eleven virtual customer service number twelve cold calling number thirteen our and recruitment assistant number fourteen background and reference checks number fifteen Help Desk Support Contractor Number 16 Chat Support Contractor Number 17 Appointment Center Number 18 Calendar Management Number 19 Admin Service Provider Equal any of the above, except you outsource the work to other freelancers and act as middleman. You land the gigs and then forward them to your team. Direct interaction still remains with you but don't spend hours performing all the work. Great way to leverage your time and income number 20. Write how to Kindle books on any of the above. Number 21. Create courses on any of the above. Number 22. Start a blog with tutorials on the above. Number 23. Create YouTube tutorials on the above. Arts and crafts. While selling your arts and crafts in local shops and art fairs is a great way to start. You greatly increase your chances and audience by selling online. The best known platform is Etsy, and here are a few more. Not on the Hig Street, Artfire, Da Wanda, Yokabu. Another great way to market your products online are social shopping marketplaces, which combine the characteristic of social networks with online marketplaces. The most popular are Strenvy, Polliver, Shopcade. This is an effective and inexpensive course that will get you started quickly etsy course business models in arts and crafts number 24 portrait painter also online via photos number 25 kindle maker number 26 pottery number 27 wood carving number 28 porcelain painting number 29 floral arrangements number 30 handcrafted children toys number 31 handcrafted pet toys number 32 baskets number 33 Weaving Number 34 Knitting Number 35 Jewelry Number 36 Cake Decorating Number 37 Sewing Number 38 Quilting Number 39 Embroidery Plus Cross Stitch Number 40 Scrapbooking Number 41 Origami Number 42 Paper Craft Embellishment Number 43 Crochet Number 44 Picture Frames and Albums Number 45 Tote Bags Number 46 Paint glass and ceramics. Number 47. Soap making. Number 48. Essential oils. Number 49. Greeting cards. Number 50. Calendars. Number 51. Gift basket service. Create a gift basket service around your products. Number 52. Run an arts and crafts school. Hire tutors for different 